As the sun sets tomorrow, the Arc of Dreams will be lit in orange, bringing attention to a safety concern in South Dakota. Tonight, Beth Warden tells us more about National Gun Violence Awareness Day and some simple steps each gun owner can be taking to keep their weapon secure. Although it was 18 years ago, sometimes it feels like yesterday. Terry Liggins remembers receiving the news of his brother's death. In 2006, on Thanksgiving Day morning, my little brother was killed suddenly and tragically due to gun violence um, back home in Omaha, Nebraska. The loss can still be hard to talk about today. I very seldomly speak to what happened to my brother Tory because of how much pain it reminds me of and just the visual of my mother collapsing in my arms. Tory died from a drive-by shooting. The bullet was not intended for him, but it took his life instantly. Terry wonders how life could have been different if the gun hadn't fallen into the wrong hands. Please lock it up, whether it's in your car, whether it's in your home. That can dramatically reduce who gets access to it and what they ultimately end up doing with it. Soon, the Ark of Dreams will be lit orange for National Gun Violence Awareness Day. Appreciate the organization Moms Demand Action. I think of my own mom and how she's had to cope with the loss of her son. South Dakota chapter leader Julie Parker became involved following the Sandy Hook incident and then her husband being robbed at gunpoint. Um, 124 people on average die by guns each month and another 211 are wounded. The goal is not to take guns away from law-abiding people. It's just to keep them safe from those who could harm others or themselves if they're accessible. The majority of the gun deaths are suicide by gun, um, which is a form of gun violence that we recognize. Securely store your firearms. That means store them locked, unloaded, and separate from ammunition. We have an opportunity and a responsibility and a duty to show up for those hurting people because the people I know who have survived suicide attempts, they talked about their invisible pain. Deep breaths. Terry is finding purpose in the pain as a life coach here in Sioux Falls. We have more information on the organization Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense, and you can find that on our website. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now.